Yo, Super Bowl 58 is here and it's on. Your boy Jersey Murph back partnering up with the great folks over at DraftKings who wanted me to tell you that new customers placing a $5 bet will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. All you have to do is head on over to your Google Play or Apple Store, enter my promo code TOPBILLING, and it's on. Want to know what you can do with $200 in bonus bets? You could combine multiple bets from Super Bowl 58 for a shot at an even bigger payout. And if you're already signed up for DraftKings like your boy Jersey Murph here, you can make a bet on Super Bowl 58 and get that back in the form of a bonus bet. You'll get a bonus bet back in the amount of your initial wager. How does that sound? And if you don't have online wagering in your state, it's all good. DraftKings Daily Fantasy has you covered. You can still get in on all the fun and the action, right? Just head on over to that Google Play Apple Store. Make sure you download that DraftKings Sportsbook. Enter the promo code top billing and it's on, baby. What are you waiting for? Let's get after it right now. Yo, Eagles fam, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're sharing the content. And make sure you hit that like button as well. Let's get it. So there's some very cool concepts in Kellen Moore's offense as far as the run game goes in the pass game. right? You know he's about to destroy it in the pass game. But don't sleep on his run concepts as well. Check this drawing out right here. You get a, a almost like a counter iso lead. They stick a, a another lineman in the backfield. He climbs up to the weak side player right here, which happens to be Alex Singleton, right? Y'all remember them days right there? Yeah, those were some dark days right there working with Alex Singleton out there. But my man combos up here to Alex Singleton. You get that counter action going right here by Ezekiel Elliott. Now, on this one right here, I want to talk about the personnel that can really make Kellen Moore's offense go and make the Philadelphia Eagles go in general. And I think in concepts like this, to me, it calls for bigger backs. Bang! Look at that. Oh, my God, right there. That man's Alex Singleton's liver will never be the same again, right? He get swapped in the liver. He didn't want to take he didn't want to take presence in his gap, right? He gave himself half a man trying to squeeze the gap instead of just meeting the line and trying to center him up right here and takes one bang right there to his liver. He was done. Absolutely cooked right there. Ezekiel Elliott getting north south, or at least from the counter standpoint there. Uh, able to shake the tiger from TJ Edwards, get himself another couple of yards right here. Now, the first order of business, in my opinion, is to re-sign Philly Flyer DeAndre Swift. But that's to pair him in more of a complimentary role. Super proud of my man Philly back. Flyer. He came through and did the damn thing. Fifth in the league in yards, right? Fifth in the league, 1,049 on 229 carries. 229 carries for DeAndre Swift, I think, man, might be a little bit too much for him, right? Obviously, he can handle anything you throw at him, no doubt about it. But I feel him to be more impactful, maybe the the less carries he has. I know, right? Less is more. For DeAndre Swift, man, getting that man 150, 170-something carries and pairing him with, with, up with a bigger body would be phenomenal. You can see right here. For whatever reasons people want, may want to point to, there were times in the in the season where he completely dipped off. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to play better defenses sometimes and everything like that. But to me, it looked like he may have been a little fatigued at times. But, hey, that man still turned in a hell of a performance. So, North Philly stand up. I was out in North over the weekend, actually, at the St. Joe's LaSalle game. Big shout-outs to North Philly. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be real, though. My man, Howie Roseman. This is how we do. Yes, this is how we do. Has not been known to value the running back position. Now, if he valued the running back position, you would think a local guy like Philly Flyer DeAndre Swift would be first on the agenda to wrap up. But listen, my man was Miles Sanders, right? He played for my Penn State Lions. He's from in-state. He stayed home, did all that. Was a homegrown product, like I said before, as far as the NFL goes, and he let him walk in free agency when it was time for him to get some money. Now, he may not have as much of an allegiance to someone like DeAndre Swift, and I keep it real. I don't be in other men's pockets. I want cats out there to get paid. And you play this sport to make the most money possible. I don't believe in hometown discounts, so even if it means 
one of my favorite players, right? This is a cat that I've known and uh, been covering since he was in high school, right? Straight up. You can see the footage here of me recording him uh, way back in the day. Uh, that dude is the absolute truth. He deserves to get every penny that he's earned. So we need an option. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. First and foremost, I must point out that one Kenneth Gamewell will still be under contract next season for a year. So he comes as a experienced option that is very good at pass protection. So that is something that he excels at. I think it's something that keeps him on the team at least for another year. A lot of people down on Kenneth Gainwell. I'm not one of them. I thought he did some really good things this year. Definitely didn't get the type of totes that someone like DeAndre Swift got, but I think he was pretty efficient with the with the type of burn that he did get, right? So uh, one year, a base salary for a for million dollars there. Um, I don't see any reason to cut him, so he should be in the fold. Further building out this running back core, I believe that we should bring in one Ezekiel Elliott. Now, I put this under the premise of DeAndre Swift not being there. Even if he is there, you still need one of these third options. They completely, <laughs> man, they completely messed up, right? I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that term. Right? They messed up the Rashad Penny signing. That could have been incredible. I mean, you got a guy with the highest yards per carry average in the history of the NFL, and you only use him for like ten carries on the entire season. I think Ezekiel Elliott comes in with knowledge of Kelly Moore's offense, as we can see here. The last time Ezekiel Elliott was really doing anything was that 2021 season where they set all those records and was the number one offense in the NFL in Dallas. And, of course, he was helping to pilot that on the ground there. He would be familiar with the offense. Kellen Moore would definitely be familiar with him. Uh, you pair him up with a Kenneth game well, and I think you get some pretty good results. Keep in mind, this man is not even 29 years old yet. It feels like he should be a lot older than that. I mean, he's been in the public eye it seems like for at least 15 years, right? So that man will be 29. His age 29 season, uh, he should be able to give you uh, up to 100 carries in a timeshare. And even in a reduced role with the New England Patriots, who were just quite frankly struggling on offense, he still managed to get 50 catches. He's always been really great out of the backfield, and you can definitely use someone like that as your third veteran running back. But here's the kicker. We need to draft Braylon Allen. Now, I know a lot of people will come here and mention a whole bunch of other cats in college football, and I'm cool with that. It's all good. I'm going to do studies on pretty much all those guys because it's definitely time to dip back in the draft for running back. I'm going to start with Braylon Allen here just on a mention, right? I'll come back and do an actual study on him and several other guys, right, that you guys want to see. But Brandon Allen, somebody, six foot two, 245 pounds, that's exactly what we need. And he's not a 6'2", 245 pound cat who is just a slug out there. My man has little man feet. Uh, he can he can change elevation with the pad levels. Uh, man, he's, <laughs> you see right here, 5.4 yards per carry coming out of Wisconsin. So if you know anything about Wisconsin running backs, it's hard for them to miss. They're the best running back scout, period, point blank, right? It's a, a team that I'm familiar with, a, a guy that I, I'm familiar with, uh, no longer there. But when Braylon Allen was there, uh, my man John Settle, a guy who uh, I, when I was helping kids get uh, college looks, uh, he was a guy that was one of my contacts at Wisconsin, a longtime running backs coach there, has since moved on there. But um, excellent running back, Scott. If he if he thinks you can play, I know you can play, and he was right about this kid. He averaged 6.8 yards per carry as a freshman, 5.4 yards per carry as a sophomore and junior. Playing in a timeshare, he has a 96-yard run. The guy can run, man, I'm telling you. And he's not that bad out of the backfield either. You know what I mean? Uh, he would be an excellent addition. Imagine him, well, first and foremost, imagine him and Philly Flyer on the same team with the Kenneth Gainwell. Good night. I mean, real quick before I get up out of here, look at this play right here. It's Wisconsin, so they're known for pro-style schemes, which comes with pro-style elements as far as the nuances go, meaning pass protection, uh, some of the, the run looks that you'll give someone. Uh, all of that you would want in a back, and that's why Wisconsin backs don't seem to miss. Jonathan Taylor comes to mind, one of my favorite running backs, South Jersey stand-up. Braylon Allen, 
just as good as Jonathan Taylor, in my opinion, right here. So you get this. What looks like amounts to actually, we'll let it ride here and get it on the other angle there. But you can see the type of speed this cat has. Look at this, eighty-eight and out the gate, six foot two, two hundred and forty-five pounds. Doing this against Ohio State. It's in the Big Ten. It's in the Big Ten, my man. So this ain't playing against little man competition out there. You get a uh, fullback right here, right? Seal on the end man on the line of scrimmage. This looks like a, a tight or mid zone right here, the way this is ran. So you get everyone stepping in concert here to the left side. Looks like an out and up, just like an inside zone would be, but kind of with a mid-level aiming point to it right here. And look how he navigates that bad boy to perfection. Look at that. Uh, little man feet able to be smart and break it to the left in front of the referee there. And he's off to the races there. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to have a six foot two, two hundred and forty five pound cat infused in there with a DeAndre Swift and a Kenneth Gainwell, or even if we can't resign Swift with an Ezekiel Elliott. He's essentially Derrick Henry all over again. I know some people are probably gonna want Derrick Henry. He's gonna be available as well. But man, why not dip into the draft and get a young Derrick Henry? Why not get both, <laughs> him and Derrick Henry? And you talk about adding some smash mouth in that Kellen Moore's offense that's going to be really dope through the air. Come on, man. Let me know, all right? Let me know what you think about your boy Braylon Allen. Hopefully I didn't call him Braylon Edwards. <laughs> I don't know. I had that deep in my mind right there. That bad boy was coming out there. But my man Braylon Allen, let me know what you think about him. I know you're going to be mentioning other cats. We'll get to those dudes, but just let me know what you think about Braylon Allen. And I know if you mention other cats that you ain't watched it, if you ain't watched this, yeah, you know I'm not a nice guy, baby. It's South Jersey to the bone gristle right here, all right? But with that being said, thanks to everybody out there support. Much love to my Eagles fam. Make sure you're sharing the content. Make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you hit that like button, all right? Big salute. South Jersey, stand up. Delaware, Elton, Maryland, Philly, South Philly, stand up, North Philly, stand up. All right. What more can I say? Top billing. Jersey.